In this video, we will learn how to check the overall status of your database. Now, you need to monitor your SAP HANA database continuously to identify the problems early and avoid any disruptions. For this, you can use SAP HANA cockpit application. You can monitor the overall status and the resource usage of the SAP HANA database on the home page of the SAP HANA cockpit. You can see the managing services tab here. It shows you the count and names of all the services which are running and stopped. You can stop and start services by drilling the manage services tile in cockpit. Let us log in to SAP HANA system and see how to manage services live in SAP HANA environment. Let's see how we can check the database health and the resource usage from SAP HANA cockpit. So first of all, we will go to the SAP HANA cockpit from my SAP HANA studio. So I'll go to the configuration and monitoring and then I can open up the SAP HANA cockpit. So I will log in to the SAP HANA cockpit using my user ID and the password. So first of all, to identify the problems early and to avoid the disruptions, we need to monitor the SAP HANA database continuously. So we can monitor the overall status and the resource usage of SAP HANA database at a glance on the home page of SAP HANA cockpit. Then for the more detailed of the report of the monitoring and the analysis, we can drill down into the dedicated apps. So here, first of all, we will go to the tile that is my required tile. So we'll go to the SAP HANA database administration group. And inside that, the first tile which we can see here is the manage services. So this tile will basically tell us about the database health right now for the services. So let's click on the manage services. So as soon as we'll click on the manage service, it will drill down into the detail of my manage services tiles. Here we can see all the different services which are running into my SAP HANA system. So we can see here that the host here is HANA Sys. After that, we can see the status of each and every service. So we can see that we have all the services like daemon service, name server, preprocessor, index server, web dispatcher, access engine and compile server. And we can see that all of them are running. After that, we can see the different port, like which port number this particular service is running. Then we can see the start time, like at what time the service was started. We can see the used memory for by each and every service. We can see the peak memory, effective allocation limit. We can see the memory allo memory physical on host. So all these details we can check from here. Now let's say if I want to start or stop any particular service. So we can just simply uh, like select this service. And here we can see this option of stop service. So if I want to stop the service, I can click on the stop service. Similarly, if I want to start any missing services, I can click on this start missing services option. And here we have other options where we can kill the service. So if my service is hanging from the login time and it is not responding, so I can simply kill that service. After that, we have the reset memory statistics and we have go to alerts. So all these options we have here and then we have the settings option. So here we can uh, customize like which columns I want to see and which columns I want to hide. So here I have uh, I'm selecting all the columns like host, status, service, role, port. So I have a long list of columns which I have here in the list and we can hide and show the columns as per the requirement. Similarly, if I want to sort so I can click on the sort option and here I can ascend, uh, like sort the data ascending or descending based on any of these like based on the host, based on the status, service, role, start time, CPU. So based on any of these I can sort my data ascending or descending. So this is how we can manage the services. This is how we can use the tile manage services inside my SAP HANA cockpit to see the state of my services in the system like which all services are 
running which all are in the stop state and if I want to start any service I can do it from here similarly if I want to stop any service again we can do it from this tile so in this session we have seen how we can manage the services in SAP HANA using SAP HANA cockpit thank you